As we all know, changes are inevitable, so let's discuss ways that you can make changes to your job schedule. One easy way is just by clicking and dragging around the Gantt view. So you can click on a task, drag it around, and everything will be maintained according to the dependencies that the tasks have between one another. Also, you can click on one task and change the dates here as well. So let's change it ahead even more. And now you'll see it changes the one individual task and any broken dependencies will be indicated. We can undo that change. Doesn't look like it'll work for us, but we'll save the other change that we made. Perfect. Okay, additionally, you can also leverage mass actions to make changes to your schedule. So I can select an entire group or maybe just a couple of items, or I can select my entire schedule overall and then use these mass actions to adjust the schedule. So if I want to shift all the start dates by a certain number of days, I can do that by entering the number of days here. So let's say that we're behind schedule and we need to shift everything that's selected um, back by five days. So I'll put the number five here, apply the action, and you'll notice the entire schedule shifts. Also, I can shift any selected task ahead, and let's say we're ahead of schedule by you know nine days. I can do a negative nine here, and it will shift all of the selected tasks ahead. Perfect. Okay. Additionally, you have some other ways that you can adjust those dates. You can shift the start date specifically to a date located here. Once you apply this action, the first task that's selected in your list, or the first occurring task, will change to that particular start date, and then any dependencies after that will be adjusted. So if I apply that action, now you'll notice that the start date of pre-construction, design and planning changed to that specific date, and then all of my dependencies adjusted accordingly based on which tasks I had selected. You can also use um, these ability to set all of the start dates to a particular day for all the tasks that are selected or all the end dates to a particular day as well. In those cases, you're probably just going to have one, two, maybe three tasks selected that you're setting a start and end date to rather than your entire schedule. You also can move tasks into other task groups if you need to just by selecting the tasks you'd like to move. You can change the duration of all the tasks that are selected. And then you can even change your task type for the selected items or adjust who's assigned to which item. You can remove them or you can go ahead and add them here as well. Great. When you're making adjustments in your schedule, sometimes it's really helpful to have a baseline to know where you adjusted from. So your original schedule you'll put together and that's your goal. Those are your goal dates. And then as you work through the job, your schedule will vary and change, but you may also always want to compare back to that original baseline schedule. So what you can do is you can select one individual item and create the baseline dates in this case. You'll see we have a couple baselines set. On this item though, we don't have it set yet, so I can click Add Baseline and it will set that particular uh, set of days as the baseline for this task. So then when I move this task around, I can always compare back to that. So you can do it on an individual task basis. You could also just select a group of tasks and choose to set the baseline to the current task dates or you can select your entire schedule. This is going to be the most common. After you build out your whole schedule for the job, go ahead and select everything and then say set baseline to current. And once you save those changes, it's going to um, have that created as the backlog or basically your original schedule dates. So now that we've set all of these as our baseline, we can then go ahead and make changes to our entire schedule. Let's move it back a few days. Maybe we um, had some rain hit, so we have to run behind on our schedule. Now, if I click this button up here to show the baseline, it will show me those baseline or original schedule dates compared to our current schedule. So I can compare and contrast any of those changes that were made and see how far along we are to meeting our goals.
If you have any questions about making adjustments to your schedules, contact your customer success manager or just email support at jobtread.com and we will be happy to help.